You know, the day I sold all my Fuji gear, I, I was so heart sick. It was such a hard day for me. Uh, I went to Sammy's camera in Pasadena and KEH was there doing a buyback event. And you just put all your gear on the table. They look at it, it takes about 45 minutes, they appraise it. And at the end, they wrote me a check for like $4,254. And I left there feeling heart sick. Like I felt in the pit of my stomach like, oh my God, my relationship with Fuji is over. I kept an XM1 and I kept a 23 millimeter F2 lens. And I had an appointment to keep when I left that appointment because I, I had contacted somebody on Facebook Marketplace about a Fuji X Pro 2. And I met him, I kept my uh, commitment, but I made a vow to myself I would never buy a camera just with that, that sense of uh, loss in my stomach. But what happened is he put that X-Pro2 on the table and it was pristine. And the second I picked it up, that's when I knew. That's when I knew, I just knew. Sitting at the Starbucks in Pasadena, not even a mile and a half from Sammy's camera, when I met this gentleman who was selling the X-Pro2, he took it out of the bag, he set it on the table, and the second my hands touched that cold, metallic, beautiful sensation, I hefted it, I felt the weight, I knew that I loved this camera. It's interesting, I'm gonna say it has a better build quality than the recent Fuji cameras, and that is something I didn't really know because I hadn't had these other cameras to compare. But when I picked it up, I was in love. And then I clicked off a shot, it was of his Apple Watch, and it had kind of the background of the patio, uh, and that nice uh, blur that the 23 mil F2 gives. I've shot a ton of images with that, and I knew when that image popped up on the screen, um, it, even little, I knew that I loved this camera and I had to have a Fuji in my life as a daily carry. So I was like, I hate to say that I promised myself I wouldn't do this and I do it, but that's what I'm doing. And that's called intuition. It's not impulse, it's intuition. And I made that choice. The Fuji X-Pro2, why it works in 2024, here we go. It's the all metal construction. It has a solid build quality, weather sealing, and dual card slots. I mean, this camera is, it's a serious camera. The dual card slots, my Canon EOS R didn't have that. That's supposedly one of the markers of a professional camera. This camera has it. Now, the second reason this camera still works in 2024 is the image quality. Oh wait, hold a second. It's right here, let me get it. This Fuji X-Pro2 has excellent image quality. Uh, so it's a 24 megapixel sensor. It's still competitive. It has the beautiful Fuji colors, although it's a limitation on the film simulations, and we're gonna talk about that. And it has straight out of camera, amazing Fuji Magic JPEGs. And so this camera does it for me. I love it. I love you, Fuji. So the Fuji X-Pro2 has a number of things that I like about it that make it a good solution for me. Um, so you have the viewfinder, but you also have the screen. And um, I, I really like that combo. Um, I, I noticed that in the screen, inside the viewfinder, it shows you, it's kind of the rangefinder style. It shows you, you could see the edge of the frame or what's just outside the frame. I really like that. Um, all these tactile controls, very similar to the X100V with the, the ISO, you pop the dial up and turn it. Um, the, what I really like is this shutter speed dial lock. So you can just um, press that and it'll lock into place. That's a great feature. And then um, I really enjoy the ergonomics of the camera. Um, it's not the lightest, but I, I have this slim lens on here and uh, I really enjoy that. So there are a couple things that are, I guess, disadvantages with the X-Pro2. So one of those is um, it is not the best with autofocus, so I've had to make some adjustments. It's really kind of a reminder of just um, shooting photography back in the day, um, and I don't mind that. So I, I'm not. This is not my client um, camera. This is not something I'm depending on for work. This is for me. This is fun. Uh, another point that is um, kind of a sore spot, I guess, is the battery life. You know, it uses these. Um, I'm gonna call them antiquated, but antiquated Fuji batteries. So you just have to have a couple on hand so that your battery life doesn't um, bite you when you're out shooting. And the other thing, I, I thought this would be a bigger deal. I mean, this is a tiny little grip on here. Um, 
I don't like that my pinky hangs off, so I might add a grip. That is one downside. So, you know, the battery life, uh, the grip is not as uh, ergonomically uh, sound as I would like for somebody with, with kind of big hands. And the autofocus, but that, that's really it. And those are minor for my everyday camera. I enjoy shooting this camera. All right, so let me tell you about my setup for the daily carry. I have the 23 mil F2 lens from Fuji. This is one of my favorite Fuji lenses of all time. I don't know why I don't have to explain myself. I just love it. And then I have this paracord strap on Peak Design anchor links. I mean, I guess a caveat is it's super simple, but that's actually a benefit. I, nothing's overcomplicated. It's the perfect combination. And I know when I pick this up, I'm out to have fun. I'm not gonna go do work. Uh, I'm just gonna have fun creating beauty and art with photography. I love it, love the setup. This is my everyday carry. It's super simple, light, it's the perfect combo. The best decisions don't always make sense on paper. I mean, you look at all the stats, the specs. This camera that I bought is not the best or the brightest of the Fuji bunch, but you know what? It makes sense for me. I love the tactile controls. I love the image quality. One thing that I think is missing, obviously, I miss classic negative film simulation. Um, that's probably the one uh, film simulation that I, I would call out as um, a downside of uh, going with this camera. It doesn't have a flip screen, but you know what I've noticed is that puts me more in the moment, more using the viewfinder, more thinking how can I reposition my body rather than just flipping the screen. So it makes me pause and think through shots and I appreciate that. And so you're left with the feeling of the camera, the results it gets and the experience. And those three things, these are all a yes to me. The Fuji X-Pro2 is a yes to me in 2024. So yeah, maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm not, but I think the X-Pro2 makes sense. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. I'm interested to hear your ideas. Do you have a Fuji X-Pro2? And if so, what do you think about it? I think I'm gonna get a little cage or a grip or a handle, but otherwise, I love it just as is. See you in the next video.